All right, y'all. Hey, Phil's are here. Just getting off of work. Finally. Sucks that I couldn't be where I wanted to be and watch the Florida game. But nonetheless, I did DVR before. I, um, I did DVR a couple of days ago, so I'll be able to watch everything I need to see. Not really going to talk much about this. Uh, Florida did win 37-27. But, yeah, I will have more on that situation later on. Maybe later on tonight. Might talk more about that, but definitely you will get uh, you will possibly get a you definitely get a post game analysis video whenever I get the chance. I want to say I could do it. I want to say Monday, but more personal shit kept, more personal shit comes up in my life. And it's kind of putting me at a disadvantage to um, do that. I really like to do this because I do have a lot to say about this game. But, in the meantime, I did say that whoever becomes the first team to lose, to lose to Tennessee since November 19, 2016, they're going to get it from me. And guess who, of all teams, happened to be that fucking team? <sighs> Not these boys. No. He had an eye business three weeks ago. Not in those damn mangy mutts over there in Athens. They had on they been there two weeks ago. But the, the team that happens to lose to a team on the road that this team beats on the road. But let me go ahead and um let me go ahead and dumb it down for you, retards, who um who probably wonder what the hell I'm talking about. Florida beat Mississippi State on the road the following week. Turn around and beat Auburn. And and guess what Auburn turns around and do? <laughs> they fucking lose to Tennessee! How give on Auburn of all of all teams? How come y'all had to be the team that fucking gives Tennessee their first win and since November 19, 2016? Oh my god. This is fucking this is fucking hilarious. Auburn of all teams, man. Damn. And I, I'm, I was hoping the guy that Gus Malzahn sticks around for at least one more year because Auburn University owes Florida a matchup with Gus. Hell, y'all should have beaten Georgia and Alabama back in 2016. We would have been got a match. But y'all owe, owe Florida a match with Gus Malzahn. He has to go against his Gator defense. The Gus bus, everybody talk about the Gus bus. We deserve that chance to uh, see if we can stop that damn Gus Puss. Even Florida State, UCF, they even had a shot at uh, Washington, Washington State, uh, let's see, Oklahoma. We deserve our fucking shot. So y'all better keep his ass for next year. But in all, in all honesty, their chances are slimming down and down by the second game. Because goddamn, you lose to Tennessee. This might be the beginning of the end for Gus Malzahn, to be honest with you. You still got to play Ole Miss. You, might, you should beat them. Um, your defense is good enough to slow down the offense, I would like to assume. And then you got to play Texas A&M. I mean, you get, well, you got the bye week after the Ole Miss game, which is the same week as the Florida-Georgia game. So you got to bye week. Um, that week, so you got. Let me face it. You got Ole Miss next. You should win that one, and then the following week you have the bye week. That's uh, the Florida Georgia week. You got that bye week, and then you got Texas A and M at home. You have not beaten Texas A and M at your house since they joined the SEC. You might lose that game. Uh, then you got to go on the road to play Georgia and Alabama towards the tail of the year. There's a good chance you lose both of those games. I tried to get y'all the benefit of that. Say you you'll likely win one or the other. I say the Alabama game probably the, uh, more likely chance of y'all winning than the Georgia game, but I don't know, man. I I don't I I'm, I have a second thoughts about that one for real. And I'm telling you now, if if Florida comes out of the uh, woodwork and boat races Florida in two weeks in Jacksonville, I honestly do not like our chances at all, at all of being Georgia the following two weeks and um Athens. I don't. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all because goddamn. And like I said, man, that's like that's that's, that's that's three losses for you already. Texas A&M, that'd be four. Georgia, that'd be five. And Alabama, that'd be six. So you better be Ole Miss 
You better beat Ole Miss. I'm telling y'all now, if you lose Ole Miss, I don't know if y'all go bowling this year. I honestly do not know. I honestly don't think y'all go bowling. You have to beat Ole Miss. This is your only shot. This is your last shot right here. I'm I'm not even like. It's funny at first, but now it's just sad. Damn, Auburn. I tried to tell people that Auburn was not for real. I seen it in the Washington game. They they offense look bleak. I kind of everybody kept on talking about, oh, Auburn for real. Auburn for real. I, I tried to tell y'all. They're not their offense is not big time. Their defense is. But then again, I'm gonna have a second thoughts about that now because they let Tennessee have their way with them in the second half. I don't know about Auburn being for real. I just don't. I'm about to see something else. I just don't know, man. I honestly do not know at this point. I'm trying. I'm trying to gather up some thoughts. I'm trying to give y'all some. I'm trying to give y'all some hope, but I I just don't know, man. Not looking good for you. I'm telling y'all now. If y'all if y'all make it a six and six, and win y'all bowl game, I can honestly see a point where, and Gus does and Gus does um, stick around after this year. I honestly see a, um, a point in time. I, I actually see. I can actually see a point where Gus Malzahn's job will literally be on the line. It, it was kind of on the line in 2016, and that kind of quieted down. Uh, semi simultaneously, but if he's if he survives this year, next year for real, his his job will be on the line because you gotta play Florida at Florida. And I'm pretty sure I think I got another tough matchup early in the year too. So I got a I got a feeling that tough. I think that Florida game next year, if he survives this year, that Florida game next year, his job could literally be on. I think that that could be the um determination whether he uh sticks around or goes. I know seven million, seven million dollar contract, blah blah blah. But this man's not won a bowl game except one, and that was the Birmingham Bowl. He's one in four in bowl. Yeah, yeah, one in four in bowl games. He is two and five against Georgia, if I recall correctly. No, two and four. He's two and four against Georgia. He's two and three against Bama. He's one and four. No, no, he's he's two and four against LSU. The three biggest rivals. You got, you got. He has a losing record to all three of them. Two, two like. Remember, I said it's two and four against Georgia. Um, two and four against Georgia. Two and three against Bama, and two and four against LSU. That's not cutting at Auburn. I can see why the the the, the, the crumbling and the rumors are getting louder. They definitely gonna be louder now because they lost to Tennessee. You figure like if you don't win any other game in the SEC, this is a game that you should at least win. Apparently, Florida and Georgia got the memo, but y'all didn't. It, and, and Tennessee fans, if y'all watch this video, don't don't start beating your chest. Sorry, I think y'all finna y'all finna um y'all finna do some shit because you're not finna do a motherfucking thing. You got the win against Auburn, but you got Alabama next. You're not beating Bama. I don't care if it is in your house. You're not beating Bama. You might you might be. You, you're not being. I don't think you beat South Carolina either the following week. But I say you get you, your best chance for another win will be towards the end of the year when you play Kentucky, Mizzou, and Vandy. You probably beat one of those three teams, but that's it. Oh, so that's at very best that puts you at five and seven if you do notch out one of those wins. That puts you at five and seven, which still falls you one game short of a bowl berth. Oh boy, Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. I got a lot of Auburn friends. I can only imagine how Tumor's Corner. I can only imagine how Tumor's Corner gonna be right now. I can only imagine how the city, the uh, the, the metro area, the Auburn Upper Lake Metro. I can only imagine how that is going to be. It's not gonna be good. I'm impressed with God. This might be Gene Chester back in 2000, 2011. I'm not keeping it mild about saying 2011 because you did win some games this year, so it can't be 2012, but. Y'all better get it together, man. Y'all better get this shit together. Y'all better be on miss next week because I'm gonna say if you you survived 2015 with a four and four record, you managed to beat Texas A&M. I'll tell you now, you four and four at the bye, you can forget it. You can't beat Texas A&M at home. 
You haven't beaten Georgia and Athens since 2005. And it seems like Bama now beats you every time y'all in Tuscaloosa. So you could be looking at five or seven. I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead honest. Straight face. You're looking at five or seven. I'm just being honest. Y'all going to have to tighten up, for real. That is, that is ridiculous, man. Y'all be the first team to lose to Tennessee. <laughs> Y'all be the first team to lose to Tennessee. <laughs> so it almost, in 23 months. <laughs> oh, boy. That's funny. But anyways, I'm going to get up out of here. I, I, my cousin got a game in about 15 minutes. I'm going to try to go home and change right quick. It's, it's too hot to be out, out here. Some damn long ass pants. I'm going to go ahead and go home and change. Then I'm gonna um try to I'm gonna try and go on up uh, see we wrecking with. So y'all take it easy. If you're on the road, make sure you wear your seatbelt. And don't be on that phone when y'all do not be on that phone while driving. Not worth it. I'll holler at y'all later.